Hi everyone, I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today I'm gonna to show you several recent macro shots I took at our local nature reserve with my usual Canon 100mm and Raynox DCI 250 combo. This is gonna be another kind of educational macro video and I'll be sharing some really cool interesting facts about a select few species. So without further ado, let's get those images up. I'm gonna start with a few species I haven't found much information on. Our first subject is a fly, which belongs to the genus Oreogeton. They are only active during the day and their body shape remind me of long-legged flies. The second image is of a very small spider, not entirely sure of the identification, but definitely resembles mesh weavers. If you have any idea, then please let me know. The last species that I'm gonna talk about only very briefly is another fly species called Depressa albicosta, or black loxaniite fly. Most loxaniite flies are orange in color, but this one was black. The head, thorax, and wings are mainly black. There's also a white band on its wings, which makes the fly look shorter, approximately six millimeter in length. I also wanted to show you two images of a very small funnel shaped web I found on the bark of a gum tree. It was approximately five millimeter in diameter and couldn't see any spider inside, so it might have been abandoned. Our next series of shots is of a sex spider. Sex spiders are found throughout Australia in forest and grassland habitats and are common hunters on foliage in bush and garden. They make their retreat sex in folded leaves or grass blades. Most are shades of cream, brown and yellow with a darker stripe along the upper abdomen. The jaws of the male spider are particularly enlarged they mainly prey on flies, crickets, moths, and other similar sized insects. Female sex spiders sometimes kill and eat the male spider after mating. They also consume their own eggs. They are very fast runners, making them ambush predators that are most active at night, but not completely nocturnal. The long-legged sex spider bite is known to be extremely painful, and the swelling can last for several days, causing great discomfort. Our next subject is a gorgeous slender green orb weaver. This species is relatively common throughout Australia. Adults seem to be mainly active throughout the day, so they are considered diurnal and build conventional orb webs. Females are relatively large and can grow up to one centimeter in length. What I really like about the species are those long spiky hairs on the legs. These next couple of shots I'm about to show you are of a cockroach which belongs to the genus Balta. Here you can see a female with her egg sac protruding from her abdomen. They usually carry the egg sac around for about a month until the eggs are ready to hatch. If you'd like to learn more about their reproduction and also want to check out some footage I took, then definitely check out this video of mine. I think you will find it fascinating. The next few images are of an eastern bush orb weaver or eastern grass orb weaver. This spider species is endemic to Australia. It's a very common spider with distinctive white markings, hence its Latin name, which refers to ivory. These markings can be quite variable though. It is found in scrub and tall grasses where the female constructs a vertical web, usually no more than two meters from the ground and stays there day and night. The web of some of these spiders has been seen to be decorated with nearly vertical stabilimentum. Stabilimentum is also known as a web decoration. It's a conspicuous silk structure included in the webs of some species of orb web spiders. Its function is still not fully understood and is a subject of debate. The females are larger than the males and are approximately eight millimeter in length compared to just about five millimeter in length for the males. The diet mainly consists of small insects such as flies and beetles. The second last species I'm gonna talk about is definitely one of my favorites. This was the first time I spotted one. This very small spider is called the white-winged orb beaver. The female's body length is around four millimeter and the males are about half of that, approximately two millimeter. It usually constructs a loose tangled web in shrubs and often there is an unconcealed, hairy, fluffy exact nearby. It is recognizable by the yellow wings on the upper front surface of the abdomen. They are found on the east coast of Australia all the way from Queensland down to Victoria. The front four legs are usually placed in a position where they are protecting the cephalothorax and the hind pairs are tugged under or alongside the abdomen. In the last two shots it was displaying a threat pose. I might have gotten a bit too close. Our very last subject is a dark winged fungus net which belongs to the family of flies called Cyaridae. They are commonly found in moist environments and are known to be pests of mushroom farms. This is one of the least studied of the large diptera families probably due to the small size of these insects and the difficulty in specific identification. Currently around 1700 species are described but an estimated 20,000 species are awaiting discovery mainly in the tropics. These nets are very small typically from one to seven millimeters long they have slender, darkly colored bodies and dark wings. 
However, the females of several species are wingless, their long legs and antennae with 8 to 16 segments are typical of many nets, they occur worldwide even in extreme habitats such as subantarctic islands or mountainous regions above 4000 meters, several species live exclusively in caves as well, however, most species live in forests, swamps and moist meadows, their larvae are mainly found in soil or plant litter, where they seem to feed mainly on fungi and animal feces. The adults don't bite, they only live for about 5 days, just long enough to mate and produce eggs. They practice the so-called paternal genome elimination, where the male only passes on the genetic material of his mother to his offspring. This plays a functional role in the determination of sexual characteristics of their offsprings. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new to my channel and you are into macro photography, I've got heaps of content for you including reviews, tutorials and plenty of blogs, so go ahead and check them out and if you enjoy, please subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any kind of feedback. Thanks again and see you all very soon in the next one.